memories. We have a dear friend, Chuck, who served in World War II. Chuck was very young then, as so many were. He was sent to the front and found himself in the Battle of the Bulge. It was winter, and the enemy was all around. He was wounded in the battle and taken to a hospital. He was there for a few weeks. Then he returned to the front to fight again. After the war, he got on with his life. Years went by, and he never thought about the past. But as the 50th anniversary celebrations of D-Day unfolded, nightmares began. Every night, Chuck saw a ghostly white figure looming over his bed. And he awoke, terrified. Night after night. Finally, his wife got him to go to the doctor. They ruled out physical causes. And so he went to a therapist, a very good one. What they slowly uncovered took them all the way back to the Battle of the Bulge. He remembered hearing a sound. He heard the sound of boots crunching on snow. Boots! Whose boots? It had to be the enemy. He looked up. Yes, the enemy. Chuck raised his rifle and fired. Then everyone was firing. Firing and firing. And then, Chuck woke up in the hospital. He didn't remember much. And for over 50 years, Chuck didn't remember. He had busied himself with life. But all that while, down deep inside, the enemy in the winter uniform stayed hidden deep inside of Chuck. It was awakened as D-Day anniversary celebrations unfolded and appeared in his dreams night after night. What do you do when there's an enemy stuck in your mind? Here's what Chuck did. He decided he didn't want to be an enemy to this soldier from the past. He determined to write a letter to the soldier. Dear enemy, I don't want to be your enemy anymore. I am so sorry we met like that. I feel bad about killing you. Please forgive me, Chuck. Good. Now, how to deliver the letter. He went to a park. He lit a fire and put the letter in the fire. Chuck watched the smoke as it carried his message up and away. And the nightmares stopped. Epilogue. When we forgive our ghosts and ask them to forgive us, their job is done. And often they just fade away. The End More at MindShifts.com